Let's go. Least common multiple. Okay, so we've talked about the least common factor, which is what? What's the least common factor? We talked about it. Um, oh, even I'm finding it. What does that mean? It's the least of the factors. The least of the factors. It means if I have two numbers and I list all the factors, you find the least one. I find the one that's in common. Mm -hmm. That's the smallest. Mm -hmm. Yes. It can't yeah. be one, right? And, then, and well, that would well, be called what? A um, relatively prime. prime. Good. Relatively prime. <clears throat> so now we're going to talk about the least common multiple. Okay? Not to get confused with the least common factor. The least common multiple is when I list all the multiples of a number, like when I'm multiplying them by stuff. Okay? So here I have the number 8. Okay? So 8 times 1 is 8. Yes? Yeah. What's 8 times 2? 16. 8 times 3? 24. 8 times 4? 32. 8 times 5? 40. 8 times 6? 48. So when I'm doing least common multiple, that means I am multiplying. Okay? Now look, if I have 12, what's 12 times 1? 12. 12. 2. 24. 24. 3. 36. 4. 48. 5. 60. Okay. So I'm comparing these two numbers, and I'm trying to find the least common multiple. Meaning, I am finding the smallest number that um, shows up in both first when I'm multiplying both of those numbers by stuff. So look, right here I have 24, yes? Yeah. Right least here common. I have 24. That's the least common multiple between these. Even though 48 also happens, yes? Yes. Okay? My least common multiple is the smallest multiple that happens. Okay? So when I'm doing least common multiple, I have to multiply. Is that why it's called the least common multiple? Yes. That's what I'm trying to get stuck in your head. Okay? Because least common factor is when I list, list. what makes that number up. Least common multiple is when I multiply those numbers by other numbers to get bigger numbers. Wait, Wait I have a question. Yes, yeah, so ask me. So on homework, um, if we like do like oh, wait, comparing two numbers and we're trying to find the LCM, mm -hmm. can we just stop at the number that's the least common multiple? You can. Or do you, have to continue? you can. But here's the deal. Um, hey, listen. He just asked a great question. So on your homework, if you're trying to find the least common multiple, you can stop at where it appears. The problem is this. Do you see how when I did eight, I had to multiply it by three to get to twenty-four? Yeah. When I did 12, I had to multiply it by what to get to 12? Two. 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 So you might have like one list that's really long and one that's really short, depending that's okay. on what number. Does that make sense though? Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, here we go. Crop rotation. This is a true thing, guys. Like farmers do this in real life. Crop like rotation is a system in which farmers vary the crops they plant in their fields each year. Do you know why you do that? Yeah. Because it keeps the um, soil nutrient. Good. Okay, cool. thank you, man. <gasps> suppose a farmer grows alfalfa. Alfalfa. I like alfalfa. Okay. Suppose a farmer grows alfalfa in a certain field every six years. And in another field, the farmer grows alfalfa every ten years. This year, the farmer is growing alfalfa in both fields. In how many years will a farmer grow alfalfa in both fields again? It's a It's like a sprouty plant. plant. Yeah. Oh. What what do you think we could do, Sonia? We can list the least common multiple. Okay, good. So what does that mean? I need to do. You need to get the numbers ten and you wait. You get you need to get the number ten and what was the other number? Yeah, five. Okay, I'm going to show you. Listen, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. Okay, so the first way would be to do to do what you're saying. Let's take a uh, ten. Let's take six and let's um, find six. multiples of it. So six, twelve, eighteen. What is wrong with you? Guys? What's six times four? Twenty-four. Um, okay, let's take 30. ten, right? Okay, twenty-four and thirty. You have to, yeah, stop. So it. ten would be ten, 10 20, twenty, thirty. Okay. Stop there. So do you see that is one way of doing this? Listing all of them out. Okay. Another way would to be to do this. <clears throat> method two. And I don't care which method you use, you just have to show me work on both. <laughs> method two would be to find the common factors of the numbers. So six, okay. Six has factors of one and six. And two and three. 
And ten has factors of one and ten, ten and two and five. What are the common factors in two? Two. two. Uh, okay. So one would be so the second method is to find the common factors of the number and then multiply all of the factors using each common factor only once. What? So these are common factors right here, correct? Yes. Okay, watch this. If I take all the um Factors, if I take, forget these ones right here, okay? Because that's one in its number, okay? Watch, if I take, uh, if I make this one number because they're common, so they only, I only need to show it once because they share it, I do two times three times five. What's two times three? Six. six. What's six times five? Thirty. 30. Five. Least common yeah, I like the other way, Battle. Better. 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 Yeah, like this. Oh, my God. I am calling that. Battle. 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 That is horny. Battle. 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 So listen. What did you say, Carter? So listen. There's two ways to do it. You can list them all out. Or. <laughs> or too bad. This is what you're saying. Okay. What are you wearing, Gabby? She has a fake grill on now. Just relax. Okay, what? so I'm so confused. Don't pay attention to her. Yes, so I am not we can list all of them out, or we can find the least common factor, and then multiply that by all the other factors of the numbers. Okay, you can do it either way. Now, we are also going to need to find least common multiples of monomials. Monomials. Okay? So listen. Oh. This becomes a little bit more tricky, yes? yes. Of course it does. Because now I have numbers and variables. Okay? Please, guys, I'm being serious. You need to focus on listening. Okay? Because this is where you guys get confused, and I know it. I honestly don't want to. <laughs> You're not gonna die. So, let's not talk. Let's focus. Okay, finding the least common multiple of 9xy squared and 15x squared y. The least common multiple, okay? So, we need to figure this out. Here's how we figure this out. What? Can I, can I, like, I didn't, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Can I try it out? Well, let's do it this. Let's do it my way first, and then we'll see what you want to do. I was just going to say list the like numbers, and then okay, we're, we're going to kind of list the numbers, but we have to list numbers and variables together. Okay. Okay. The number nine and the number fifteen. It's three. The least common factor. Stop. Nine and fifteen. The least common factor is what of that? Three. Three. Okay, three. So we want to take three. Okay? okay. So if we list nine out, right? We would list this as three times three times x times y times y. Yes. I have a quick question. Do you have to like uh, write it out this way, or do we have to do it this way? You are gonna probably want to do it this way. Is the other way harder? Yes. Okay. 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 I'll do it this way. So fifteen is three times five, right? Times x times x times y. Notice how when I break them down, I'm not breaking them down into 1 and 9 and 1 and 15. I'm breaking them down into prime numbers. Prime numbers. Do you get what I'm saying here? Yeah. Prime numbers. Like if yeah. I were to do a factor tree, what's left of the end? All of those numbers. That's what I want it broken down into. So this is my prime numbers. I break down the x, I break down the y's, I break down the x's, I break down the y's. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we need to circle things that they have in common. Do you see how... They have a 3 and a 3 in common. Um, yeah. They have, they have an X and an X. An X and an X, and they have a Y, y and a y. y. Okay. Those represent one of each. Okay. A pair represents one. A pair represents one. So I'm going to take those, and I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to take this 3 and multiply it by that X that repeats, and multiply it by that Y that repeats on both sides. Do we combine both sides or we're, do we not? Yeah, kind of. We're working on that. Okay. Okay. So what repeats, I just count as one thing, one number. Okay. And then whatever is left over, okay. You didn't do the other one. I didn't do the other one. Yeah. 
Whatever is left over, I multiply in. So I have a 3 left, yes. I have a y left, and I have a 5 left, and I have an x left. Now I multiply all of these together to get my least common multiple. Watch. What is 3 times 3? Nine. 9. What's 9 times 5? 45. 45. 45. Yeah. <laughs> what is x times x? X squared. And what is y times y? Y squared. So my least common multiple is 45 x squared y squared. So you leave out all the other numbers? We didn't leave out the other numbers. Oh, we bring them in? We did bring them in. When they repeat, you only use them once. Whatever's left over, you also have to multiply in. Okay? If they repeat, they do not count twice. They do not count oh. twice. It's like when you take a square root of something, right? Four yeah. squared. How, how many twos have to be there in order for me to take it two, outside? Two. Yeah. So it becomes one, yes? Least common multiples the same way. If there's a pair, it becomes one. Okay? Now let's look at this. Six breaks down into what? Uh, three. Two, three. Two, three. two times three. three. And how many M's? Two. 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 One, two. Ten breaks down into? Five and two. Five and two. two. And how many M's? M times ten, ten, ten. Okay. Sixty-five. This is the same. This is the same, right? Yeah. So I get one of them. Me. I still have a three, yes. Mm -hmm. I still have a one F. five. How many M's are the same? One. No, two. Sorry. Two. So I bring down one, um, two, I bring down, yeah. So I bring down an M, yes? Uh huh. I bring down, you know, there's how many M's? There's three. There's three. Yeah, but look. Oh, this, uh, is was, a, this is a pair right here, right? One pair. I'm sorry. Yeah, this I is a pair right, right here. Down. So I bring down. I have to represent those pairs. And then I have an M left over, yes? Yes. What's yeah, 2 times it. 3 times 5? We're going to get to you. Um, yeah, your head 30, is like right in the way. I 30, can't. 30. <laughs> and then what's M times M times M? M times 3 and 4. Oh, 30 M cubed. 30 M cubed. 30 30 cubed. cubed. Yes. So we combine the pairs. Mm -hmm. of, what, can it be numbers too? Um, yeah, you mean. <laughs> so if there's like. Um, yeah, we did combine the number of pairs. No, two. I mean not the uh, not the letters, I mean the numbers. If there was like a like a couple there's numbers. There's a two numbers. and a two. Oh, we combine them sorry. to make one. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I was, I'm trying to. I have a question. Okay, what? Sorry. Well, if it doesn't have a variable, will we do the same thing? If it doesn't have a variable, you can just do it with letters. Uh uh. Focus. You. Focus. Whoa! <laughs> From my head, and he's the one putting the answers in. No, I thought it was a sign. Okay. It was a sign. <laughs> okay, okay, so do it. If it's just letters, yes, you can do it. If it's just numbers, yes, you can do it. Okay. Okay. Just curious. Okay, so that's finding the least common multiple. So that means tonight. On your homework, I should see you listing everything out. Okay. If you do not have list, you do not get a grade. Um, ooh, like so one the list don't have to be like oh. complete. They just have to go to the least common multiple. <laughs> Correct. But if you're doing it this way with letters and then stuff, then I need you to list everything because you'll get confused trying to do it the other way. Okay. Couple more problems for us. I have a couple questions. What? Are there going to be like huge um, numbers for the uh, mon monomial? On the monomials? No. Oh, the numbers. I don't know. The monomials aren't huge. Wait, where are they? What do they look like? Uh, actually, one of the monomials is what? Is what? Is what? A couple of the monomials gets it into the hundreds. Yes. <laughs> but that's not hard because, listen, the reason it. Listen! The reason that it gets large is because you are breaking down the numbers and then you're multiplying each um, uh, set of numbers. Yeah, together. So it's not like you are listing these out to the three hundreds and four hundreds. It's like you're doing this and you're multiplying all the um, 
So you're multiplying all the factors together. Yeah, well, yes, kind all, of. but not the factors. But of. you just combine the ones that are like double or triple? Yeah, you're multiplying all the like, like one, yes, and you combine the ones that are double or triple or whatever. Or how so a pair becomes oh, one. Wrong. So if I have four sets, okay. if I have four twos, I have two pairs. Oh, I have a two okay. and a two. So they have to be like two. Yes, make a pair. To make a pair. Mm -hmm. And then you multiply everything else that's left over back in. So that's why you're going to have numbers in the hundreds. Okay. Okay. Now, a couple more problems. Last year, a winter resort had 144,000 visitors, including 45,000 snowboarders. Dang. This year, the resort has 160,000 visitors, including 56,000 snowboarders. In which year was the fraction of snowboarders greater? What do I need to do? Would you have to make two different sets of um, least common... Nope, nope. This is actually pretty simple. You just, you just do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you what? add the people together and then do you like subtract? What them? did you say? Grace? Um, hold on. Sorry. So, um, when you like subtract them from each other, not subtract them. What? Would you Should like not. the forty-five thousand? What, what did he say? Ah. Uh, he said <laughs> you divide. <laughs> but what do you mean by that, Kaden? Uh. Keep going. You divide you, by each other. What what numbers? Um, One hundred forty-four thousand. Wait. Do you make your match? Forty-five thousand. Well, kind of. I'm going to put forty-five thousand over top of a hundred and forty-four thousand because I have to make a fraction and reduce it down to see which one is greater and which one is oh. least. Does okay, so sense? you just do that. Right, and gone. then for the next one, I would have 56,000 on top and then the 160,000. So let's one. reduce these fractions. Take off our zeros. Oh, take off the zeros. Yeah. I think I know how to do that. Just take off the zeros. Okay, if you take off the zeros, what does that mean? If I take out the zeros, take I get off the three zeros on the. I get count. this right. Yeah, forty-five over one And I get this over this, oh, but I still should be able to reduce. Yeah. What can I reduce by? What's forty-five and one forty-four reduced by? Five. Nine. Can you try that? Can you use a calculator, please? You can use a calculator. Thank you. Calculus error. Three. Think that yeah, you can reduce them both by nine. By nine? Yeah. <laughs> okay, 144 divided Five by nine. Five over 16. Five over 16. I already got that before, girl. Yeah. What about 56 and 160? You can divide them in half. By eight. You put that both by eight. You put that both by eight. Divide both by eight? I like that idea. So you get 20 here and 56 or you can divided by well. eight is seven, right? You can just divide them. Can you divide them by 12? No. Sure. Wait, Wait, no. 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 So I get five, listen, I get five sixteenths and I get seven twentieths, right? See? How do I know which one's greater? Because it says. Wait, do you have to have the same in, denominators? It says, in which year was the fraction of snowboarders greater? Do you have to get them to the same denominators? Well, do I? No. Really? I don't know. You're right, you do probably need to have the same denominators to compare to see which one's greater, right? So what would be the same, what would be the least common multiple between 16 and 20? Two. 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 No, four. Two. Not least common Two. factor. Oh, three. What is the least common multiple? Two. Listen to my words. Wait. What is the least common multiple between 16 and 20? Not factor. Two. Multiple, which means those numbers should get Larger. Oh, no. No, 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 no,
minus. And what did I multiply this by to get to 80? You, uh, 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 uh you um, multiply it by, uh, um, yeah. Um, uh, three. Um, no, no four. 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 Four, so what's seven mm -hmm. times four? So 28. 28. So 28 <laughs> eightieths. Okay, so 25 eightieths is less than 28 eightieths. So you know oh. that 5 sixteenths is less than 7 twentieths. Yeah. You're going to have to find the least common multiple to compare fractions. Okay. Okay, now. We're gonna order. We're gonna order numbers. Oh, lovely! But they're fractions, so what do we have to do? I have no idea. No, multiply. First of all, what type of fraction is this right here? Um, 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 it's a whole number and a fraction. So it's a mixed number. What type of fractions? Stop yelling. What type of fractions are these right here? Improper. Improper fractions. Yeah. So here's what I would suggest. Why don't we change yeah. all of them into improper fractions to start with? Oh, okay. How do I change three and four fifteenths? You times a uh, fraction. Wait. You times three, three times um, 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 um four. four? No. Three times three, three times fifteen. Three times 15. And then add Caitlin, four. Stop. You do. Guys, listen to me. Times three. And stop four. just shouting out random okay. answers. Think before we shout. And then tell me. What, Caitlin? You do fifteen times three and then add four. Good. What's three times fifteen? Two offices. Um, it's 45. 45. And then add 4. She just 49. No, 49. 49. Yeah. 49. Yeah. So this is 49 fifteenths, yes? Yeah. And I have 33 tenths, and I have 19 sixths. So we're yes. ordering them from like least to greatest? Or is it yeah, least? but when I, I can't order these from least to greatest yet. I'm not a, I'm not a genius. So You're what do mean. I what do I need to order them from least to greatest? Um, a calculator. No. <laughs> I, you are not putting this in your calculator and turning it into decimals. What do I need to order this from least to greatest? Uh, to have the same denominator? To have the same denominator. So uh, I need the least uh, common multiple of 15, of of 10, 30. and 6. What would you say 30, it is? 30. Okay, good. So 15, to get 15 to 30, you multiply by? 2. 2. So what's 49 times 2? Uh, I have no clue. Yep, 98. Okay. How'd you do okay. that? So you get 98 30ths. Okay, you multiply this by 3. What's 33 times uh, 3? 69. 99. Nine. 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 <laughs> 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 and then you would multiply this by 5, right? Yeah. What's 19 times 5? 25. Um, 95. 95 30th. Okay, so now when you give me, guys, when you give me your answer, I do not want your answer with these. I want your answer with the original in order. Okay, so this is the, it says order the numbers. And what do we want to order them? Let's order them from least to greatest. What's the least of the three of these? The 90, 90, 90, 90. 95. So I would come up here and I would say, oh, that goes with that. So I'm going to order them from least to greatest. It's 19 6. And now, what's the next? 98 30th. This, this is second. Three, three and four fifteen. And then the last one would be 99 33 10. So when you go to do this in your homework, it's going to order them according to what the original was, not according to what you just came up with for the least common multiple. Does it say that in the book? Because I might forget. No, it does not say that in the book. Fine. Okay. 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 So listen, you have to find the least common multiple so that you can order them, unless you're super genius and can just figure those decimals out in your head. No. Okay. I'm not super Nobody genius. Sorry. So that is what okay. we're working on today. Oh, least common multiples. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay.